Leaders in Austin and Travis County are working together now to designate a number of quarantine shelters across the community for those who show symptoms or test positive for COVID-19. KXAN's Jacqueline Powell takes us inside one unique spot that will be a place for high-risk individuals to weather out the outbreak and avoid exposure. Usually, the Austin Travis County Sobering Center holds people who are heavily intoxicated in public for a few hours so that they can avoid a night in jail or at the hospital. But you can imagine with the downtown um, businesses and bars being shut down, um, our clientele has certainly um, diminished. The center took in its last few inebriated guests Monday night. Tuesday morning, Travis County commissioners voted to convert this space to one that'll house about 15 older or immunodeficient homeless people who shouldn't be around the general population right now. So we have beds, we have linens, we have supplies. The city's making plans to provide food and any sanitation supplies as the staff here works fast to transform this into a longer term living facility that could be ready as early as Wednesday. Oh, we're looking at the shower. But the difference here is that most of the staff isn't medically trained. Besides a handful of EMTs, most of the center's employees didn't expect to find themselves on the front line of responding to the virus. My job here, I'm a recovery support specialist. But now employees like Barbara Turner are preparing to deal with more than drug and alcohol addiction, supporting a 24 hour shelter and putting fear aside. Although it is a disease, but we treat it the same. You know, why would we, you know, run from that when we're here to serve and help them out? Jacqueline Powell, KXAN News. The city of Austin will screen people before sending them to the sobering center in hopes that no one who goes there will be infected. The center's board says it could potentially turn into a quarantine shelter for people with COVID-19 as the outbreak continues, but that would be a difficult situation due to its lack of medical staff.